do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, so we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we got some foolishness. We got some real foolishness. Now, you know what a Karen is. A Karen is somebody that nobody likes. It's an entitled, entitled person. It's usually a woman, white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, they're very nosy. They think they're the police. They're the biggest snitches. Very annoying. These are some traits of a Karen. Now, my mama name is Karen. And every time people talk about Karen, she doesn't understand. She's like, why does everybody hate Karens? She, she, she's not on social media. She don't know. But Karens are probably one of the most hated species in the entire freaking world. Today, we're going to be watching a whole compilation of a bunch of Karens that get what they deserved. These Karens be deserving a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. A lot. Y'all be seeing this foolishness. They be calling cops on little black boys for, for playing outside with water balloons. They be like, oh, water is 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 going to make some money fall and die. So I'm going to call the cops and you're going to get arrested. Like, that's the type of thing Karens do. Some foolishness. So we finna watch a video of it. I'm very, I'm very, I'm excited to see this. So I want to see them get what they deserve. They deserve it all the freaking time. Every time. But anyways, if you excited for the video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you know if I, whenever I drop these bangers. You see what's on my neck? It's chilling on my neck right now because it's real warm, super comfortable. You know what it is? It's a Jew rag. You can buy two of the third free or you can bundle up and say so fifty dollars. Without further ado, let's hop right into this foolishness, bro. Hey, what's up, everyone? And welcome back to another brand new episode of Public Freakout Videos. Okay. Tonight on this crazy episode, we'll be taking a look at the most shocking and wildest public freakouts that were caught on camera. Now we have a lot of great clips to get through tonight, so make sure to slap a like on this video and let's jump right oh, store from a fire. The man notices that a few of the aisles have caught fire and films himself racing around the busy store, trying to locate a fire extinguisher so that he can put the fire out. As the man films, he notices that he is the only person trying to help, while everybody else flees from the store, which he finds hilarious. Let's play the clip and see how this whole crazy situation comes to an end. I just say Walmart! <laughs> Yo, it's a motherfucking fire in the fucking Walmart. Yo, they how does that start? Randomly in the middle of the clothing aisle. What 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 what, what clothes caught fire? Ain't got no uh a fire extinguisher. Bro, these is tripping. This is a whole fire extinguisher right here, bro. Bro, these is tripping. What the what are they running for? The whole fight. <laughs> I gotta be Superman in this. <laughs> four seven. Four seven. <laughs> he not even. He not a Karen. This is good. This is some wholesome stuff. Hey, bro, these over here running this. <laughs> bro, it's a whole fire in this joint. <laughs> I just say <saved> Walmart. <laughs> And everybody hold Yeah, can I get an uh, application or something? Okay, come up next. Y'all better hire this man. I'm not gonna lie to you. He just saved Walmart. Karen. Oh, here go the ads. Here go the stupid. You Nobody's know, playing this stupid game. What is this freaking Walmart version of Fortnite? Valorant? Who plays that stupidness? I feel like someone gonna go get mad at me for saying that. I don't. I feel like Valorant is like one of them games that a lot of people play, but I don't play that stupidness. So who the heck plays that stupidness? Karen is Filmed aggressively approaching a young group after a sports game. The group who are filming were in the middle of celebrating their team's victory when Karen walked over to them to confront them. She says that she does not like the way that they are celebrating and goes on to call the group sore winners. The group refused to play Karen's game and filmed themselves dishing it right back. Let's play the clip and see this whole situation. It's gonna be good. I could tell this this woman is a straight Karen. I could just tell by her fit and her hairstyle and the way she's balding in the top of her head. Situation came to be. I'm not gonna call the manager. I'm gonna call the superintendent. That's all. I have never seen kids with such lack of manners and rudeness in my entire life, ever. So make sure you're filming for safety, just in case. And so I know that there's both sides of the story. Because your principal was here, and this was disgusting. Okay, I mean, I mean, I didn't say anything. I don't know why you get mad at me. I'm not saying anything about anyone. And all you had to do was enjoy that. Not insult the players, not insult the parents. Just enjoy the win. This is disgusting. And and your superintendent is going to be notified. And whether they don't do anything, they don't do anything. Sounds good. You know what? You know what? 
<laughs> and coming up next tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. The woman ain't sound like a Karen. She was mad because they were celebrating. If she, if I'm picturing it right, the kids was overly celebrating and they was go, they, they they was winning the game, but then they decided to trash talk not only the other team but the other team's parents. I mean, if I was a parent, it, it ain't no oh I'm gonna talk to the superintendent. You finna get a super beatdown. Talking about me, I wasn't even in the game. Put me in the game, and we're gonna see. Put me in the game, and we're gonna see. That's what I'm saying. Like, come on, bro. A woman films her interaction with the neighborhood Karen. Moments earlier, the woman filming had politely requested that the Karen stop parking outside of her home. Instead of being polite and attempting to understand where the woman is coming from, Karen and her friend snap and start to verbally attack the woman and her husband. The pair of women are filmed mocking and insulting the couple before making some pretty crazy threats. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. Uh -huh. You weren't home. I don't know where you are. You're gone most of the time. I came over one night or one day to nicely meet your wife. Uh -huh. I said, excuse me, I don't think we've ever met. Is that when you insulted me and hit First me? I said whoa, 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 hit? <laughs> Mink, you're dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't hit my wife. I'll beat you to ashes. I don't think we've ever met. But you hit me. I hit you? Yes, you did. I did not hit you. You had your shovel in your hand. You were ready to attack me. No, that's incorrect. I did not hit you. I took your phone and I threw it across your ugly grass. I just took your phone and threw it across your grass. I slap you, did you? Get, like, come on, do I look like the one to play? Stop playing with me. Do I look like the one to play with, old lady? I'll break your kneecaps. No hesitation. That's what I did with it. I didn't hit you yet. Are, okay. Don't you want to dig? Yet? Man, I... <laughs> Ooh, golly. What do you want to do about that? Everyone <laughs> loves spreadsheets. Man, nobody loves spreadsheets. Get this ad off my freaking screen. I don't love spreadsheets. Nothing. Try it. I'm not doing anything about it. I'm just asking you. What do you want to do about that? Don't you want to dig here? What do you want to do about that? Nothing. Try it. I'm not doing anything Look, about it. I'm not. just asking you. Look, I, I, this is crazy. You're, Do I you're, own a daycare? you're crazy yeah. to come you know over here and, and kind of just insult us. We all know all you about you. You're crazy to not. insult us. Are you a teacher? Us, so. Are you kidding me? My teachers teach her kids. So we know all about them. She owns the daycare that her kids go to. I'm strangling you. You. My kids, first of all, I'm taking them out of there ASAP, no Rocky. And I'm strangling you. You should not be around kids. You have a problem, woman. You're crazy. You need help. Real help. You need Jesus. He needs to come down for you, specifically. Enough. Enough said. You, Four kids aren't even allowed out you, of the house. You two no. are crazy. I can see no one. Friends. I can see you're one weird. looking outside trying to get out. Listen, uh, if, you don't, want, get if you don't want anybody parking in front of your home, uh. Let's put your barricades up because it just makes you look more crazy. Right. And we'll, we won't park in front of it, but it's a public street. We can park there. We're not well. doing any harm. And up next tonight, we jump into the middle of a heat. They are being too nice, man. I would have got the shotgun already. I don't know. Like, move your car or your, or your body go be get, having to get moved by somebody else. Like, like that. come on, be realistic. I, that's why I can't. When I buy a house, you know what I'm saying? I can't have neighbors like that because it'll be, it'll be fun. For about the two seconds that they still breathing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Heated customer versus employee moment at Starbucks. Our video starts off with Karen sticking her camera into the face of a Starbucks employee as she starts to put her on blast. The Starbucks employee tells her to put the camera down, right, otherwise she'll- the video. Okay. Yeah, I know, and you came listen. out to fight with me, and no, I'm about listen. to go. I just spent $20, $21 on coffee, you know what? and you're gonna give me a hard time about no, four ounces no, of soy milk? Do that but that is what you're doing. You called the police you, you because leave? I asked for soy milk. Are you no, serious? Because you're recording right now. That's why. You came out here to fight with me. I just and this next mail, Karen. I don't understand that one. Why is she called the police? She black. No, she. Anyways, but the soy milk did all this. Soy milk. 
This film blocking the doorway of an apartment complex so that another man cannot enter. The man filming politely requests that he gets out of his way so that he can go visit his friend, but this male Karen refuses to do so. He says that unless the man filming identifies himself immediately, then he won't be moving. Obviously frustrating, the man filming starts to argue with this male Karen as he tells him that he does not have to identify himself to him as he has absolutely no authority. Let's check it out. Recorded. Let's call the police. I'll call the police. Dude. I'm gonna call them right now. Do it. Identify I'm, yourself. It please. doesn't matter. Please identify yourself. If you you can, want, please identify yourself. I don't have to identify. Yes, you do, because no, if I you're don't. stepping into this building, you absolutely Are you? Have you're to, not the gatekeeper of this building. I live here. It doesn't matter. It I'm does. here visiting. Then you identify yourself. No, get, they call the police. Like, this is really weird. Are you serious, my guy? You make yourself look stupid talking about I live here. I'm the gatekeeper of this apartment complex. Shut up! Shut up! Please, please stand outside. I'm not going to. Please stand outside of the Dude, door. Dude, I don't have to. You you are in my way. You have no right to be here. I, you have no right to tell me that. Absolutely, I do. No, you don't. I'm here to make sure the building is... Hi, there's a no, you're here to pay rent and stay in your freaking apartment, you idiot. You're not here to make sure the building is... Shut up. Shut up. John, this is sense. your home. He's calling the police hey, John. on me. John, your, your, your buddy here... I, I don't have to identify to... myself to this gentleman. And this old man is just stuck. Like, what the F is going on in this country? That was racist. That wasn't racist. He's not even ain't. He's not even Indian. But he over here talking about what the heck is going on. I'm confused. Why would... I think at this point, the dude that's standing inside the door is realizing he's stupid, but he's too far gone to turn back now. You know, like when you're wrong and you, you realize you're wrong, but you're too deep into the argument that you can't go back on it. You know what I'm saying? That don't happen to me because I'd be easy to say I'm wrong, but like other people, I'd be seeing that happen. Please let, please, please let him know that if he comes in here to let people know who he's visiting. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, don't do that. No, no, Dude, I can't no, wait no, to make no. this video go viral. No. Man, and the friend is all like, yeah, you're right. Like, shut up. That's not your friend no more. And this stupid Valorant stuff. But get this off my screen. I don't want to see that. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's... And coming up next, we jump right into the middle of some crazy heated drama in the middle of a busy gas station. A whacked out woman has just been caught stealing and now the employees have locked the doors on the woman and called the police. The crazy woman is now in panic mode and is film racing all around the store while aggressively getting into the face of the gas station employees as she demands that they open the doors for her. Let's play the clip and take a look at this wild public freak out. Y'all are dumb motherfuckers. You was in here stealing. We want the f***ing stealing. Yeah, you was. You come up to me up here and ask. You was a dumb bitch. That's why you do can't it again, get out. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Linebacker that help. I ain't back. What? What's she on, bro? What, 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 what is this woman on? Linebacker that help. Caught your dumb no, you dumb. <laughs> you <laughs> You mad as. <laughs> okay, why well, did steal? They got no goddamn proof. They got no proof. I had to put it in my pocket down the room. <laughs> Yeah, and up next, we jump into the middle of a heated altercation between two customers in the middle of a store man, allegedly just, having a fake. I don't need the, the preview, man. Just play the clip, bro. And I've gone to a doctor. Take a look at this clip. All you have to have is a prescription from a doctor. Yeah, and I've gone to a doctor. I was blown up in a fire. Okay, and? I have a medical condition that allows me to have my dog. But it's not trained. That's where I'm getting it. You see my remarks? Stop. You were asked to leave. I'm not leaving. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am not harassing him. He has an illegal animal in this store. And you guys are letting it happen. I'm not going to lie. This is something Destiny would do. Destiny just be so mad that people be having their dogs in the store. She just be so angry for no reason. This is something Destiny would do. So I, It's sad. But that, this woman right here is for no reason. He has a, he, he obviously has like whatever permit he needs. That's an actual like dog. Like a rescue dog or something. It's like the, 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 the dogs that like have a job. He not just like a little pet dog. That's a, that's a, a job. That dog has a job. You know what I'm saying? He's allowed everywhere he goes. Notice how the dog is sniffing everywhere. So f illegal. Dog sniffing is illegal since when, Karen? 
want to move the animal so he can get his animal out of the way. Yeah, but if I have a medical thing. episode due to his it's animal, he problem, could go to jail. If I have a medical episode and it's due to his dog, then he could go to jail. Literally, all she has to do is leave. Like, what the fuck are you still standing in the store for? If you could have a medical emergency, if your dog does something to me, like what? If you allergic to dogs, get out the store and wait for him to leave. Then go in the store or go to another store. You can't force somebody to get out because you have a problem. You know what I'm saying? You sound stupider than stupid. You sound literally the stupidest person I've ever met in my entire life. That's how you sound. No, oh, I'm not going to wait outside. Do you know how demeaning that is towards animals? Oh, am I weird? Because this dog barked at mine. Do you this is what you're mad about? A dog barking at you talking at him. The dog is talking to the other dog. What the f are you so mad for? What the f are you so mad for? You talking to him as the equivalent of your dog or his dog talking to your dog. And you mad? I'm telling you, she don't got no love life. You know how illegal that is? It's illegal to bark at another dog. What? And finally tonight, we jump into some drama at a dog park. The woman being filmed claims that the man's dog had humped her dog and now she is furious. She immediately jumps into Karen mode and dials 911 to have the man arrested. While the woman is on the phone doing that, the man filming goes on a rant about how ridiculous the whole thing and says, he let's play the clip now. See how this insane situation comes to an end. No, why are you calling Hi. the cops right now? Hi. Because I told you I wasn't the leaving the park dog. because my I'm dog was humping your dog. Right I'm not verbally assaulting you. I told you I'm not leaving. The Attleboro Dog Park. That's inappropriate for the dog park. No. He didn't tell the dog to go hump your dog. Your dog was probably just looking fire. And then his dog was like, ugh, I ain't seen no fire dog in a little while. Let me go get my little thing on. You know what I'm saying? And went over there talking about some ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I'm saying? And the dog, your, your dog wasn't mad. Your dog didn't push him off. Your dog was taking it. Your dog a little freak. I'm telling you right now, Bethany or Karen. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. I know. It's the dog's humping each other and she's calling the cops okay. yeah. because yeah. my dog humped her dog. Every do I've seen every single dog hump another dog here. And she tells me to leave and now she's calling the cops. What, what are they going to arrest him for? There's no rule that says dogs can't hump other dogs. I've never seen that rule book in section A305 that says dog that humps another dog, the owner's going to jail. Like, what? Like, are you serious? Yeah, they will, they'll, they'll Yo, I can't wait. Yo, this is crazy. Cause this, you heard of barbecue, Becky? Cause this is the newest one. Right here. Let me get her plate. Let's see. So everybody know who this woman is. We can look this woman up. No, you can't. 3ZN996. Got him. Got to him. We finna find her ourselves. You're done now. Honestly. Honestly. I'm just trying you're not trying I'm to help trying me. To tell you no, you're not trying to help are. me. I know the rules. You're not I, the, the, the dogs. Rules. I'm obeying the rules. What yeah. are you talking about? You I'm right here. You allow your dog aggressively on top of another the dog. The dogs hump each other every day, and opinion. I took him off. The, I took him opinion. off. And I know That's it's my opinion, but you don't call the cops over it. That's, That's all I'm law. saying. That's not she ugly. She don't get no. She don't, she, she don't got no love life either. I can see it. Just go. Man, that's the end of the video, bro. None of these got what they deserve. The video title says Karen's that got what they deserved. Nothing happened to these people. Not a single thing has You know what made me mad? That ch the kid, the, the, the woman that parked in front of the other people's house. That was the worst one. That, that was, I was ready, I, I was ready to handle that for them. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't, and then you got my kids in your school, man. I, <sighs> but that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. Uh, this video pissed me off because they ain't get they ain't get owned the parent the, the karens did not get what what they deserved nothing happened to the karens actually they just was karens and you just sold us the main karen whoever made this video is an op it's the opposition he clickbaited me i got clickbaited they didn't get what they deserved and what was what is, what was the fire one the, the first one what did that have to do with karens he was just he saved walmart <laughs> man that's the end of the video Y'all let, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Have y'all ever had a Karen experience? I have had multiple of them. I, it's, it's so stupid. Maybe I'll do a story time one time on a couple of them. One of them was like the first couple of days I moved to Tampa. 
if y'all ain't know when I stayed in Tampa, um, it was like mostly white. I like I was probably the only white, black person within a five hundred mile radius. So you know the folk was hating. I was in the grocery store. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna save that story time. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Like the video if you loved it. <laughs> Comment if you commented. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Post notification bell needs to be hit if you love your mother. And that's really about it. I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.